Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday I uploaded a video called Everything Wrong with the Doomsday DLC where I touched upon some of the features that got introduced that I disliked. Now as I stated countless of times, even in that video, I really enjoyed the DLC altogether but a few features and gameplay elements it could have done without. Also I asked you guys what the journal bug, yes not the barrage, I fucked that one up badly in my video, was good at and apparently according to you guys the vehicle is indeed a worthy investment because it can take down hydras and protect Mr. Boss for the Wind's car shows. So fair play, I, I picked one comment that made me chuckle, which was Sergeant Hartman's. Chernobog is good at destroying capitalists, their expensive cars. They literally explode on the power of communism wheels. Wow. Congratulations, Sarge. Hit me up on Twitter so I can give you the $10 Amazon gift card. Now for this video, I got another question for you guys as well. If you would be so kind to leave any tips, tricks or whatever to make the heist any easier for your fellow players, let me and let everyone know in the comment section down below. And I'll be dropping super likes with the best tips so everyone's able to see them on this video. So the Doomsday Heist DLC is obviously out for a week now and I played the full thing and all in all, I really enjoyed it. So instead of bitching and complaining like I have done in the past for previous DLCs, I will give credit where credit is due. The heists are amazing, the majority of the setups are really good, and this is something that GTA Online needed after all the reskins. Now the story, I'll be fair, it did not really grip me. And that was mostly because I was streaming and busy with a shit ton of other things besides actually enjoying the story and I don't mind that at all the gameplay was solid the story was a nice extra to me now the difficulty was cranked up to the max in the doomsday heist there is no rushing if you are rushing in you will have a bad time you gotta take it easy one kill at a time move around and cover push forward another fantastic gameplay element is me and Dave were actually communicating on how to move forward in this game something I have never done in GTA online not even in the pack standard heist where it felt more like a massive run and gun all in all that, that was what I got out of it I felt it was a story I was playing regardless, even though I didn't have a clue what the story exactly was. But everything we did, I felt that was there for a reason. It really felt like, okay, so we are collecting this vehicle for this reason, to use later for another reason. It's one story arc you're following, and that is something that's really cool to me. On multiple occasions when I got a vehicle, like, I'm really excited to use it in the setups, because I sort of less knew what they were going to do because of the trailers. And yes, all in all... Really cool stuff. Now the vehicles, okay, some of the vehicles like the Cherno seem pretty useless to me. While others, like the Deluxo and the Stromberg, were actually really dope. Sure, they don't excel at anything. Like, they aren't the fastest or they aren't the strongest. But the extra features are a shit ton of fun to mess around with. I had so much fun with the jetpack as well. I have some gameplay of me trying to mess over a cargo shipment. Like the complete asshole that I am. And out of the blue, a Deluxo tried to take me down. It was actually hilarious. I, well, I, I thought, what the hell is going on? There's, there's me flying around in the damn jetpack with rockets. There's DeLorean flying around me trying to kill me. And then there's a cargo bob just trying to get the hell away from all of this. The situation was so, so fun. Uh, and it was a lot more fun. Than when a random Hydra dick shows up and tries to take everyone down. So sure, these items don't fit in GTA Online. Sure, they can be used for griefing. But hell, they're all fun as well. And they make up for some hilarious situations. Now, if this will indeed be the final DLC. I think it would be a nice way to end a very, very bumpy ride for GTA Online. The last couple of DLCs were mediocre to say none the least, but at least for me it's a great way to end all of this in a spectacular fashion. I'm not sure if I ever get back to GTA Online after script hook for GTA 5 on PC gets updated, but for me this was at least a fantastic way to end all of this. So GG Rockstar, big thumbs up from this old complaining canoe you've done well, besides the Mark II revolver bullshit to pay well, so blah 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 blah, let's end on a positive note here, thanks my dudes, good stuff. More of this, please. Yo, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please sure to leave it a like and subscribe to the Sunny Evans Gaming channel. I sound like Pyrealm Gaming there, but it doesn't matter. All right, peace out, my lads.